guys, our artist here, and here is another video, and in this video is just a little haul thing, and then with everything I got from, the tiny haul I will be making a piece from. So yeah, let's get started. We got a Artist Loft white synthetic brushes. So it comes with a round one and flat ones too. And it's synthetic, so it's harder. Really, I actually just got this because I wanted to, um, I, I already seen this, but I wanted this really, really tiny, 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 very tiny, uh, detailed brush. So that's why I got this. And I also got the wreathed gouache. And this is also somewhat a review on YouTube stuff, which is the gouache and something else I got. But I have never used squash before, so it's not going to be a very good review. But I am excited to use it. And this contains 12 colors and it's reeves, and I'm really excited to use it. I also got the Prismacolor Premier Case 1224 brush markers, which I'm really excited to because I think I'm going to be going away from Cobra because they're so darn expensive. These are expensive too, but not as expensive, and the Michaels I have has Copics, but they're always out of stock, and you can't get individual ones. But this one you can get individual, so that's why I got this, so I can get individual ones. And I'm really excited because I really like markers, and I have used these, but everything else I've not used yet. Alright, well to start, I'm just watching the... It's your browns, because this set doesn't really come with very good skin tones. I want to see what type of skin tones they have. And all they really have is brown skin tones. I don't know, I really, really, really like these markers. Like, they're really nice. Not as good as Copics, I would have to say. But I don't, only had skin tones Copics, so I wouldn't really know. And I used my gel pen to make sure the, the white of the eyes wasn't covered. And use the red one and do the lips and then add more shadows, because I thought the shadows weren't prominent enough. And... I actually really like this drawing. I'm pretty proud of it because I used all these supplies for the first time. And I really like the texture of the gouache on the paper like after it dries you like just run your hand over and like whoa this is just like so soft and I just really like it. because I want to have green hair and yeah this is my first time using gouache I was really confused on how it worked but I think I got a hand out of it and yeah is how well it blended. It like blended different than acrylics and like different than watercolors because you could reactivate it even after it dried with more water and I just really like that about it and I just thought that was really cool and that I could just like put even a lighter color on top of the darker color and it would still show up and unlike acrylics where if you put lighter color on top of it it's so not opaque or whatever that it just doesn't really affect it very much. I don't know why I added those little yellow dots over it, all over it. Maybe just for fun and maybe to cause them some more lighting stuff and like it could do little highlights. So that was just kind of random. Now this is me just doing more swatches to test it out, but I'm like, oh, the blue is my favorite. I'm gonna do it anyway. So I tried doing that and I. Now looking back at it, I could just left the horns white, but I'm happy I made them blue, I mean brown. And then later on, I go over with the blue marker again, but didn't show up the best, so I just used the the blue, the blue gouache instead. And then I also add some like stuff on your face. I thought that was pretty cool.
so I already added all the blue stuff, and now I'm just adding highlights with the gouache because my jelly roll pen didn't want to go over it. So now I'm just adding highlights. And I really like like the texture look, and I add some yellow too, but that yellow is more wet, so reddish greenish. And now I sign it. And thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, and comment. And I will see you guys in the next video.